Hi guys, so I did want to keep this just a voiceover, but I did want to come on really quickly and just tell you guys a couple things that I felt like I needed to tell you. Uh, first thing, I hope all of you guys are having a lovely day today. The second thing, if you guys are going to do a powder routine, definitely make sure that your face is fully hydrated. And I say that because although powders are super lovely for the summer because they don't budge um, and you can definitely leave the house for hours and there's not going to be as much slippage as there would be for cream uh, products. The only problem with powder foundations or powder products in general is that they do tend to emphasize any flaky skin, any dry skin, any fine lines. So you definitely want to make sure that your face is hydrated. So I would say definitely use like a face mist first and then go on to your just face moisturizer of choice. And I also would say let that sit for like 15 minutes on your skin. Let it really melt into your skin and just touch your face to make sure it's not tacky or anything like that. And if you feel like your skin is moisturized but it's not like tacky feeling, um, you don't actually feel the moisturizer on your skin, then you can go ahead and use your powder products because uh, you really want to buff the powder products into your skin and if your skin is still tacky, it's very hard to do that. So uh, I just wanted to mention that now just in case. And also, I have a lot of fine lines underneath my eyes. So I didn't use any like cream concealers or anything like that. I just stuck to using actually a powder foundation that was like slightly lighter than my skin tone. Like two or three shades lighter than my skin tone. And that's what I use as my like brightening concealer. But since I have a lot of fine lines, I wanted to make sure that that canvas was nice and smooth. So what I did was use a mineral primer underneath my eye. I didn't show that in the tutorial, so I felt like I needed to share that with you guys. So this is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. It's basically a silicone primer. So if you have a silicone primer in your uh, inventory, uh, then pop that on any places that you feel like have any, you know, are prone to creasing because of any creeping or fine lines or wrinkles just you know pop that in those areas or any areas that you feel like are a little bit more oily than others um i would say just you know, pop a little bit of a silicone primer on those areas and you're good to go i love a good powder routine because it's also really really fast it's really easy fast and you know, you got a full face of makeup in just minutes, which I love. So this is a great routine if you just don't have a lot of time. Uh, yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoy. This is something that I do pretty much on, you know, a daily basis, especially when summer is here because I just don't like cream products on my face when it's very humid because I just feel it on my face. It's really heavy. And like I said, they're just prone to slippage, even though, of course, you can bring a setting powder with you. I just don't really like the fuss, so uh, I just wanted to share what I do, and I hope that you guys enjoy, so. Okay, so let's get started. So as I stated in my intro, make sure that your face is nice and prepped. So I'm going to be using two different powder foundations, one as my face foundation and the other one more so as my concealer and highlighter. So I'll be using the Physicians Formula Healthy Wear Powder Foundation around my under eyes and also down my nose and on my forehead. And the best way I like to use my powder foundations is with a buffer brush, whether it be angled or flat. I prefer a angled buffer brush, so that's what I'm going to use because it gets into the crevices like around the nose area and things like that. So uh, definitely go for a brush that is dense but still has a fluffiness about it so it can definitely blend into your skin. So I'm using the Zoeva buffer brush for this foundation. And I'm using the Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination. This is my favorite powder foundation for dry skin. Uh, they have a regular version. This is the Illumination version. So it does have tiny like particles in it that gives your face a slight glow. Nothing crazy or anything like that. But it's just great for dry skin because it doesn't really, you know, emphasize too much dry patches. And it just gives you a very natural glow. So it's it's my jam it's my favorite and that's just one layer but i did decide to do two layers of foundation especially around my cheek area because i do tend to get a lot of redness around that area and around my nose so uh, i just applied a little bit more and also 
you definitely want to buff this into your ear area and things like that. So I had a little blemish and what I did was just kind of pack it on with my finger and just kind of concentrate the powder and then I just buffed it back in with the brush. So now I'm going to take a lighter powder foundation. This one is the Physician's Formula Healthy Wear Foundation. This is amazing. It's super pigmented. And this is about two to three shades lighter than my natural skin tone. So I'm just applying this underneath my eyes and on the bridge of my nose and on my forehead. I'm just creating lowlights and highlights with the powders I'll be using today and I just want everything to just look very natural. And the brush that I'm using is the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. This is a great brush for any type of concealer really. I have used this for cream concealers as well and it just works wonderfully. Because this foundation is very pigmented and it has smoothing properties, I decided to also use this as my eyeshadow primer as well and it just works beautifully for that. So now I'm taking my Kat Von D shade and light palette and I'm using that middle contouring shade which is called Shadow Play and I'm basically using this as my bronzer so I'm using this to kind of warm up my face around my forehead area, around my cheekbone area, around my jawline, all areas that I would typically bronze so this isn't necessarily contouring right now it's just warming up my face and just making my face look more lively. Because powder foundations can look a bit flat on its own, you definitely want to add dimension. So that's why you want to add darker powders as well to create those shadows. So I'm taking a, as you can see, like a very flat, like chiseled brush. This is from Mimi Box and I'm using this to contour. So I took Sombre from the Kat Von D Shadow Light Palette and I just use that to just chisel a little bit my cheekbones some more and then I just blend that up with the uh, tulip brush that I used uh, to bronze my face from Party Queen. And then I'm taking Lyric which is a yellow powder and I'm just cleaning up the area a bit and just blending it some more just so everything looks normal. I don't want to look like I'm dirty, I just want to look contoured. I also went ahead and decided to use this little brush set from You Spicy. It comes with eight brushes, and they were sent to me after I did the review, the You Spicy um, brush straightener, and I will leave a link to that review down below, but I will also leave a link to these brushes in case you guys are interested. I really like the style of these brushes. They kind of look like bamboo. But anyway, so I am using the Makeup Revolution Blush Palette, and I use the mauve, matte mauve shade, and I just place that on the high points of my cheeks. And then I wanted to add a little bit of glow on the apples of my cheeks, so I went ahead and I used the Too Faced Sweethearts Perfect Flush Blush in Something About Berry, and I just used the two first strips of the blush to create a really nice light glow, and I like how that turned out. And yes, look at my crazy hair, my wings. <laughs> so for highlighter, I used the famous uh, Mary Luminizer from The Bomb, and I used the Geminesque fan brush it's one of my favorites for highlighter because it's uh it's kind of small i have some bigger fan brushes that i like but this one just gets the job done much better so of course i just highlighted all the high points cupid's bow the bridge of my nose forehead and around the cheekbone area so now i'm going to do my eyebrows and i'm using the eyebrow brush that comes with the brush kit and this is angled it's actually more so in the shape of a lip brush but it's very stiff so uh it's different but it still works and i'm using my anastasia brow powder in dark brown to fill in my eyebrows and i like the way it turned out it was very natural i liked the arches that i created with this brush so me likey and then I just set it with the Anastasia brow gel in brown it's more of like a warm brown so I like it I have to film my favorites especially since I missed April I have to film my May favorites but I have been loving this palette this is the Alice through the looking glass from Urban Decay and I took chessboard which is a really nice warm brown and it's matte and I just placed that into my crease and with a of course fluffy blending brush this one is from Shani 
and then I went ahead and used Kingdom and I placed this on my lids. I first took the brush that actually came with the palette, but that didn't give me enough opaqueness so I just went ahead and used my fingers and that did the job and this is kind of similar to chessboard it's a little lighter and a little bit more shimmery so it just really goes well with the look that I'm going with very natural so then I took chessboard again and I used the equal tools pencil brush and I just placed that on my lower lash line and then to highlight my brow bone I took a looking glass which is a matte peachy shade and then I went ahead and used Royal Flush for my inner corners. And this is just intense, guys. It is intense. It's so pretty. And then I used the Tarte So Fine Micro Liner to create my wing. I decided to go with the winged eyeliner since my eyes were very natural and I didn't really define them too much. I also added some mascara and I use a brown liner for my tight line and waterline but you're not going to see that in this video because I wanted to save some time. So for lips, my favorite part, I used two liquid uh, lipsticks but first I lined my lips with the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie in Exhilarated. It's a really nice rosy shade and then I used the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Double Dare which again is a really pretty dark rose shade and then I went with the Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick in Feeling Myself which is a really nice coral and I blended these colors all together with my fingers and it's just so pretty and then I decided to set my face and this is the baby face pour powder from its skin and I use the powder brush from the use spicy brush set and I just wanted to make sure that everything was in place and set so then to ensure everything didn't look cakey and everything looked natural, I used the Tony Moly Moisture Mist just to rehydrate my skin. And that is it, guys. Girl,